Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. So today we're gonna talk about my first roll of film as a digital street photographer. And spoiler alert, all the photos sucked, but we're gonna take a look anyways. And let me go ahead and show you guys what I've been shooting on lately. It's the Olympus OM-1. I got a little hipster butter grip with it, you know, Gotta have a little style. Uh, and my first roll I actually shot was Ilford HP 5 Plus 400. I actually shot it at 800, so I pushed it one stop um, just to kind of see what the hell that does. And before I begin, I just want to thank my sponsor. <laughs> Nobody's sponsoring this bullshit. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look. All right, so this first image here, this is, again, pretty nerdy. It was my first roll of film. So I was like, oh, cool, I got my first half exposed shot. And the second shot here, again, nothing special. I was literally sitting down and just didn't even know if I was on one yet or not in terms of my shot counter, so nothing special. And this next image. So basically, I've been shooting street photography digital for a few years now, and when I kind of start something new, especially if it's subjective or some kind of artistic venture, I'm pretty methodical in how I work. Basically, I try to master little things before I move on to bigger things because I don't know how things or the camera or film reacts to my certain style that I've always shot. This shot here, I actually shot purposely into the sun. I wanted to see just how the highlights are, how the sun flare is, and I kind of like it. It's, it's okay, it's not like a great shot, but I don't know how I feel about the flaring. I kind of dig it. And I kind of don't, I don't know, I'm kind of still up in the air. And same goes with the next shot. I kind of just purposely shot into the sun. That way I can just see what I can do in terms of film. And these are just my, a couple of my digital images to give you an example of a certain style or a certain element I like to add into my photography. So I like to include the actual sun or sun rays or, you know, People don't like it. I actually really enjoy it as long as there's other things going on into the composition. But if it's just another little element that adds to the story, then why not, you know? And the next image here, again, nothing special. I'm just still trying to figure out zone focusing. And I got it now, but I was just like, what the hell, how do I zone what does it even mean i was able to kind of figure it out after a roll or so a lot of this is just me just testing things out in terms of focusing in terms of capturing things how loud the actual shutter is and hearing the mirror kind of flap and it's just i don't know it was just a whole new experience so i was just trying to figure out things and this next shot here I actually recreated this image. If you've seen my other videos, you've seen this shot here. Nailed it. Basically, I made this shot in another video. I wanted to kind of compare and contrast the film image versus a digital image. And again, with this film shot, I didn't spend too much time in this location, maybe like two, three minutes. I wasn't trying to get the perfect shot. I was just trying to compare and contrast. And here is the digital image that I used. Because of this compare and contrast, now I get it in terms of, you always hear people say, oh, digital is clinical. Like, oh, it's like perfect. Hey, it's too clinical. Clinical, clinical. Like, what does that even mean? Well, now I know. So the dumb dumb analogy would be, Okay, remember back in high school, like everybody had one person, whether it was a guy or a girl, that they went to school with that was just like perfect. Like they were 
incredibly good looking, their family was rich, they were smart, funny, they sat in the front row, and it was just like, oh, God, this person makes me sick. That's kind of like digital, I guess, or what film people see digital as. And then there's this other person, which would be film, who's also just as smart, just as good looking, but has just like a little edge to them. Just has some character, like, who is this person? Like, sometimes they don't even show up, like half the year, and you're just like, yo, what happened to, like, I don't know. That's what I feel film is like. Both really good, but this other person is just like, oh gosh, like I hate them because they're just so like nice and neat. And then this other person like, man, I kind of want to smoke weed with that dude. <laughs> so that's the way I see film as. This next image, again, nothing special. I'm just kind of trying to see what I can get away with in terms of um, layering, I guess. Kind of just still practicing zone focusing, honestly, because it feels very weird for me to just take the camera to my eye and shoot. And I'm just like, what? Did it focus? Like, because I was in the zone, I think, but it wasn't all like in focus. So anyways, I, I got it now. I'm so used to autofocus where you just lock on and you get the shot and then that's it. Next shot, same thing. I'm just kind of trying to focus on composition because I don't have the shallow depth of field because I'm shooting at f8, f16. I'm just trying to tell a better story without shallow depth of field. And these next two images, I actually don't do in my street photography, if any. I don't take street portraits. And again, that's just my personal style. I don't do this. I don't actually interact with my subject at all. I more or less kind of smile, take the photo, whatever, let them know, or I at least acknowledge my subject. I, I don't try to be too sneaky with it. So I actually don't stop people to take portraits. And I think partly because I get that fix when I shoot fashion photography, that's when I can talk to people direct, ooh, can you move here? Oh, the light is here, yada, yada, yada. Or when I'm directing film or directing a project or something like that, that's where I can kind of talk to the talent, kind of mold them, help them, get them to a certain emotion, whatever. But with shooting my first rolls of film, I wanted to get at least a couple portraits just to kind of see how film reacts to skin color. So this is a shot of just a random guy. I thought he looked kind of cool. I always have a thing for like stylish old guys. They're like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yo, I kind of want to be that dude when I grow up. <laughs> and then I have this shot of actually a cool cat named David. Homeboy's only 19. He's been shooting film for like five years. He's actually a fellow American. So I was like, yo, uh, where's your accent? You're, you're American, right? He was like, yeah, I'm from Chicago. I was like, oh shit, I'm from Los Angeles. Hey, what's up? But anyways, actually really cool dude. He's studying here in London. His Photography is pretty dope. I'll put a link to it right here and you can kind of check out his stuff. So a uh, shout out to David, really cool dude. And the last image, if you're familiar with my photography videos, when I go out and shoot, my goal is to keep things simple. I just want to get one good shot. Like that's it. Just no stress, no nothing, just one good shot. And on my first roll of film, I think I got one. Aha! Aha! So anyways, here it is. I kind of dig this shot. I think it's more along the lines of my digital street photography. Like, I actually really enjoy this shot. I think I kind of got the composition pretty decent. There's a few different elements and there's just a cool like grittiness to it, you know? Just like a cool something that I haven't seen in my digital street photography. So I just kind of 
really like this whole process and this whole medium. And these next two images, they're actually from like my third and fourth roll of shooting film. Just to let you guys know, I'm not like complete shit, just half shit. So this is another shot that I took. And I actually took this on Triax 400. I shot it at 1600, so I pushed it two stops. And what I learned with shooting Triax is Okay, this is what I like. This is going to be my foundation for black and white photography because I just I just gravitate towards the kind of punchiness, the really dark blacks and the bright whites. This is where I want my photos to start. And then I can try other little films in between tracks, so like JCH or some Cinestill black and white, but I want my starting point to be Triax. And same thing with this color shot. I want my starting point to be Portra 400 because I, I just dig the colors. It just it looks very old school, still has some contrast. Colors still look good. Um, but I think I want my two starting points for black and white to be Triax and then for color, Portra 400. And then I can kind of play with other kind of film stocks kind of sprinkled in. So like Cinestill 800, I have one roll of that. I'm very excited to kind of shoot that, but I kind of want to know what the hell I'm doing first before I waste $20 on a single roll, like for real. I guess the conclusion would be, am I switching to film? Hell no. Why? Because I like to get paid, you know? I like to get paid for my photography and just film. I guess to relate it back to the other dumb dumb analogy would be, if you had a project that you were trying to do in school and you had to get an A, if you didn't get an A, you pretty much fail the course, you have to repeat your grade. And there was a group project and you had to pick one partner. Who are you gonna pick? Are you gonna pick the goody two shoes that's just perfect and it, you know it's gonna be a really good project? Or you're gonna get this guy that's kind of flaky but super cool and it's gonna be fun and he might not show up, so you might have to do all the work and you're just like, yeah, go fuck yourself. I'm picking this dude. Of course you're gonna go for the clinical kind of medium because it's just guaranteed to be honest. And when you're starting to mess with people's money, like you have to perform. So anyway, so that's just my take on film photography for now. I've actually haven't been making videos so much because I've actually been just shooting film, to be honest. I've been really kind of loving the process. And for me right now, it's like, oh, should I make a video for YouTube or should I go shoot film? And I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, I'm gonna go shoot film. Like, go fuck you guys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But I'm just trying to find a healthy balance because to be honest, I'm a photographer first. I wouldn't ever consider myself a YouTuber or something. But anyways, so that's where I'm at now. I'm gonna get into the groove of things and start putting more videos out. So just again, thank you guys for watching. And as always, be cool, be nice. what it looks like. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, I think something came up. <laughs> <Ugh. clears throat>